Um, this morning, I get up, I I turn on the TV, I watch some Littlest Pet Shop, and then I drift back to sleep like I usually do. It's a Saturday. I can be lazy. And in my dream, I go to a KB toy store. And... and uh, and of all people, I, I'm not there picking up a toy, but of all people, Patrick Stewart is working there. <laughs> go on. And I go up and I start talking to Patrick Stewart. Because <laughs> he's, right, he's right there behind the, the counter. This is actually kind of cool. And then um, he takes me over to his computer and he starts showing me this website that shows you different prices uh, for cars. And I'm wondering, and I'm pretty much figuring out where that part of the dream came from. Maybe it was used cars. Devin's been getting her car. Yeah. But <laughs> yes. Maybe you can recommend this for your girlfriend. <laughs> well, that would be a bit splendid. It gets even more bizarre after that. Kind of amazing. Um, yeah, uh, during his break, we actually go for a little bit of a walk, and he starts and uh, he starts telling me about different structures that are uh, that are around the the, uh, the the toy place on the outside of the of the building. And he shows me he shows me a dog playground. It's a it's some sort of puppy gem or something like that, and he's describing to me in great detail, great specific detail about how everything works here. And then after that we go for a nice little walk along the beach. I and know where this is going. And we he's still He's still lecturing me about a bunch of different things. He seemed like a fascinating character to listen to. For some reason, we passed a festering dead bird on the beach, but um, I don't know where that came from. Um, we end up at another. Uh, we end up at a at another play place for uh, uh, for dogs, and he starts explaining to me how this one works. And at this point, I get a little bit too hot, and I actually wake up. And I look over at the TV, and there's a program on uh, on Discovery Family about uh, uh, showing uh, called Pint Size, showing different uh, uh, showing different dogs on playgrounds and whatnot. Whoa! <laughs> Oh. And somehow in my dream it was Patrick Stewart telling me all this stuff, but no, what I was really hearing was the narrator of the show. Did he sound like Patrick Stewart? That's the thing, he didn't, but in my dream it got lost in translation. So it didn't end with a kiss? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's how your dream ended. That, honestly, now I can only imagine like the like you see a little bird coming like y you know in the comics like there's a little bird that comes out and then they fucked. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then I woke up next to Q on a foreign planet. So Q, what do we do? I remember Anything there was. You're not aware of. I remember there was one dream I had out of like out of randomness. Like, I was relaxing in my house, and then Andre the Black Nerd came in to visit. Like, he came in to visit to chillax, you know, to talk. And then there was at one point he shaved just a little bit of my back for some reason, and then he left. <laughs> oh my God, this is gold. We need it. We need a toupee, man. <laughs> That's all I could. That's most that I can remember about it is that we ch that me and Andre the Black Nerd we just chat and then for some reason 
I, I saw there was a towel like behind me and he was just shaving my back. <laughs> like you do. Just be glad he wasn't shaving your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>